We're here at the junkyard and as you know, we need a quarter panel and a front frame rail and we're here to mark it to get it cut out. So let's go find our challenger and mark the quarter panel, the one that we need, and uh, they're gonna cut it out for us. So here's our challenge right here, this challenger. We need this side quarter, or no, that side quarter panel, right? This side quarter panel, yeah. Pretty much what we're doing is marking it for the guy that's gonna cut it off for us. And it'll be maybe a day or two. A little dinger right here on the quarter panel, but that's all right, because we are gonna be repainting it anyways. But this is the exact same quarter panel, so he's gonna go ahead and put his. I'm just checking if it's been uh, bondoed before. Oh yeah, hey, that's a good idea, actually. I want that, and I, as I, I can see a little bit right here. It's been bondoed before? Oh, you see dang. the sanding? Yep. But yeah, let's inspect this closer. Any bondo? I mean, you can kind of hear a bondo pretty much, right? Go ahead, and pop the hood, show them where we need this frame rail. So, a good frame rail here, undamaged, so it's gonna be perfect for us. So, we're marking this frame rail about right here, that's about where we need it. Not that much needed on that car because. It's just the tip that got bent pretty bad. So we're gonna splice it in just like the Mustang, and we should be good. So I went ahead and put my mark. Check mark. Check mark, and we should be good. So we'll be picking this stuff up as soon as you get some cut. I don't know, maybe today or tomorrow. So we'll check on it later. What is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to like and subscribe because we got some awesome things on the way. So currently we're heading to the shop because we ordered some parts, and now we're gonna go pick them up. So let's go see what we got. All right, so we're here at the shop. We're checking them out, make sure there's no damage, and they checked out to be fine, right? Oh, yeah. Good. We got the two fenders, the front bumper cover, and also we got the radiator support. I don't know. I think it's the upper or lower, but we'll find out later. Uh, this is not all the parts. We're still going to get more parts a little bit later on as they come in. So we're pretty good on parts right now. We're going to take this to the house, and we're going to go ahead and jump on the front end of that uh, Hellcat and start taking it apart, see if we need any radiators, condensers, anything like that because we don't know yet if they're busted or not so we're gonna run to the house and check that out we just got we back we safely transported the parts back to the house now we're gonna go ahead and drop them off we're gonna open up each one and show you guys what it consists of and what they look like and we're also gonna inspect if they have any damages like this one here the fenders are in great condition though dang i want to see what this is this hellcat bumper different from the regular challenger uh i'm really not sure because i believe that the price is a little bit higher Oh, it's done. There you have it, guys. Just like that. Finished. And we are still waiting on the lower radiator support, which they said it should be in tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this uh, front bumper. Now, is this fog lights or just vents? I don't think this vents. Vents don't need them it's a drag car nice it looks to be in good condition. Oh yeah, really great condition no nicks in it whatsoever little side marker light we'll have to order that yeah and the lip that goes on these cars we need like a carbon fiber lip i wonder what they got the, hey. this lip on these uh hellcats it goes like around it goes towards the side kind of yeah. like oh looks pretty cool so if we can find a car fiber that would look really that'd be good. ideal because we got a surprise coming in soon we can't we're not gonna ruin it this car is gonna be full of surprises guys so be sure to turn your post notifications right now we pretty much inspected all the parts we're gonna also open up the radiator support right yeah we're gonna check it out see what it looks like you know you gotta always check if it's the same sometimes they can send you the wrong part so you never know so let's hop on that and open it up It's from it. There should be all the things. Right. There you have it. Radiator support is in. That's the upper. Now we're waiting on the lower. All right, guys. So we got all the parts opened up. Now we're going to head to the junkyard, see if they got that quarter panel and that frame rail ready for us. So let's head there. So we're here at the junkyard, and the quarter panel and the frame rail are still not cut out. They are super busy right now. They're backed up, pulling motors out of vehicles right now. And uh, we asked if he can pull this car out of this location, set it out somewhere up front so we can get an extension cord and probably cut it off ourselves. He said he'll be glad to give us some tools to cut it off. So it's gonna be awesome. And I wanna I wanna hack it up, get my quarter panel and get the frame rail. So that's gonna be fun. Hey, so I'm ready. <laughs> we're gonna get a quarter panel and we're gonna save some money. So he's gonna give us a better deal. Oh yeah. Which ain't gonna be a problem. We've ne I've never cut off a quarter panel, have you? Nope, I haven't, but it's gonna be fun. He's coming, he's about to pull it out, so. 
Let's see it work. Let's go out front and wait on it. guys so he got the car set out here for us closer to the building where we can run a hundred foot drop cord it's pretty loud right now so i'm trying to talk loud but we're gonna go ahead run home get a grinder sawzall get some blades and get to cutting so let's run to the house real quick grab our supplies and we'll head right back all right so we got all of our tools here that we think we're gonna need our sawzalls a grinder our toolbox some extension cord we probably definitely will need because it's pretty far away from a power outlet Got some chisels and whatnot, hammers, so we're gonna head that way and start cutting. All right, so we are back at the junkyard. We got all the tools set out. He's in here, he's about to pop this trunk open. We don't have any battery power, but, Jesus, and that's broken. You have to squeeze yourself in there. First thing is, you gotta pop this trunk, and then we're just gonna get to slicing and cutting and dicing and all that good stuff. Nice. Ugh. Oh man, nasty nastiness. Same interior trunk area as the Hellcat, so I guess we're gonna have to start peeling some of this stuff off. So we're gonna have to pull all this stuff off from the back, these tail lights, this bumper, everything that we can think of right here so we can start cutting this quarter panel off real quick. into this quarter panel but then we had a roadblock we actually noticed that it's been worked on before look at it it's a garbage job if they would have did at least a decent job i would have probably not even caught it but as you can see all this has been fixed before over here it's cracking and stuff so we're gonna just we're not gonna get this quarter panel because that is not gonna work for us so we're gonna just probably go ahead and get the front frame rail section and uh see if we can find another quarter panel so we moved to the front so now we're gonna start taking this whole front end apart to get to that frame rail So he finally got everything cleared up in this area. Now he's gonna go ahead with the cordless sawzall and start cutting stuff. Might need to turn the steering wheel left um yeah let's try to the left first and then we'll see all right so he's gonna go ahead and make a phone call to get another quarter panel from a different company because this one was kind of a hack job um, we got the front frame rail cut off already as you can see here we got the main the main piece here the trophy there you go this is the trophy right yeah we here. cut a little bit extra than we needed but as oh you can yeah see, it's always good to cut extra you never know this is what we grabbed for today this should be enough to do the front section of the car for now but we couldn't grab that rear quarter panel over here so that quarter panel is damaged i don't want to get anything that has too much damage that's been previously worked on before that's not good it's gonna suck taking that off getting it repaired again twice you don't want that you want a fresh quarter panel so we're gonna hold off on this for now find another one and uh, for now we're just gonna focus on the front section of the car so now that we got this rail, we're going to go ahead and start disassembling this front end, checking out if this condenser, radiator, intercooler, all this stuff is good so we can go ahead and put an order on most of this stuff so we can have it coming in while we're working on the frame rail.
guys, so I just inspected this radiator. I really don't see where it can be damaged at. It looks really good. It might have been leaking from around here because it was a slight little leak, which it leaked it all out. Because the top uh, hose actually had two clamps. Somebody put a, put two clamps on there. Maybe factory, I don't know. I don't know, but it was leaking somewhere. We're probably gonna get it tested. Yeah, Duffy's radiator shop, they can test it. They're gonna fill it with air or whatever and then put it underwater because I really don't see any damage. Yeah, I don't see any damage at all. Fans look good. Unless there's damage on the inside. So we're gonna set that aside for now and then we're gonna look further into the front end here. And it's looking pretty dang good because it's not too bad. We did order this lower radiator support. Yeah, which is in right which now. Which is in right now. Luckily, it didn't go as far as hitting that subframe there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's really good. This is gonna be a pretty simple fix, I think. Parts, parts talk right there. That's one thing that we have not located yet is a quarter panel, so it seems like he's getting the call in for parts and stuff, so hopefully hopefully we can find it. The next thing that we gotta do is try to get to this pump, probably take it off, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to take it off, get all these pinched wires out of here. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out which ones we need to buy. It looks like just one simple hose there. Yeah, it looks like one hose for now. Luckily, so nothing else got pinched. This is a good wire, right? Yeah, it's still good, not pinched. I guess we'll just unscrew it and let it hang and then yeah, go from there. Nice. It's a nice solid pump. On the Corvette, it's like a plastic one, ain't it? Uh, yeah, it's a, this is actually a lot mm -hmm. nicer. It's aluminum. Very nice. And is this bracket all one bracket right there? Yeah, it connects to this, so we're probably gonna have to... Just buy the bracket, it looks like. Buy a new bracket, yeah. That's the pump right there, boys. Oh, yeah, uh, there's one more clip. That's it right there. Nice, I wonder how much that costs. I bet that's a pretty expensive piece. Yeah, thankfully ours is still intact. Yeah, very good condition. <laughs> it looks almost like it almost got damaged, but it's still there. Still there. It's just this bracket that got mangled that we're gonna need. Hey, it's only got 16,000 miles on it. Not bad. You can see there, 16,200. That's how many miles are on the car, on the engine. On the pump. On the pump. Oh. A little bit of fluid in there. We're gonna go ahead and probably clean this area up. Put all, yeah. you know, sort everything out and then we're gonna throw some absorbing rocks right here before um, any of the pets or anything gets gets around here. And I, wanna starts. Go, I wanna go ahead and screw this bracket down. Oh yeah, we can do that right quick since we're right here. All right, so now that we got that taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and pop this fender off, which it shouldn't be uh, secured on there, it should just be hanging. Yeah, I think it was loose. Pop it off, pop it off, man. Yep. Yes, sir. We got one inner fender, so we're gonna need another. I think there's one at the junkyard, if I'm, if I remember correctly. Maybe not, though. We'll probably buy that later. We need that. Hey, we need that that's cat. what we need. That's the main thing right there. We get it off right now. Is that a Chrysler sign on there? Oh yeah, Chrysler Dodge Jeep, baby. Mopar, hey, that's Mopar right there. Mopar all the way. Yep. Mopar or no car? <laughs> I well, see. We love all types of cars. Yeah, I know. We love Mustangs. I'm not gonna like favorite Chevy. any car. I don't see how people are like, oh, I like Ford, I like Dude, we I love like them Chevy. all. We love all in any car. They're all good. They're, they're all, all good. good. There may be some that are bad, but they're all good. Yeah, Ford. All cars are the same. There's always problems with every single car. Pretty much. But some have more than others. The cheaper ones, the ones that are like the Ford Focus with all the recalls. You don't want that. But you gotta do your research. That's it. Got that off. Nice, looks great. That was really easy. To get really off. easy because of that heat gun. I guess when you're not afraid to damage your part. Yeah, you I don't really, really care. See if uh, wax and grease remover takes that off. Man, that thing, don't that look like Thomas a little bit? Dude. <laughs> Thomas, where's Thomas? Thomas! <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. What does SRT stand for? Street ready to tear up. No, I don't Street know. Street racing technology. No, I don't 
I don't think they'd call it street racing. That's a lawsuit on their hands right there. Street racing technology. That's pretty crazy. That's a huge supercharger blower right there. Engine looks awesome. I love the red caps or what do you call those? Valves? Red caps? They're not red. The, the whole motor is powder coated in that color. Not just the valve covers. The actual whole motor. The whole block. Yeah. Pretty unique looking color, yeah. but I would have went with something different. Something I brighter. I think like a bright red, like yeah. a Brembo's here. But I guess Mopar. <laughs> just like the Brembo's here? But yeah, Mopar, you know. Mopar. Mopar. They, they, done they, have, the, they have their own little cup. But that's about it. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing, so man. Take it to the frame. We're going to get this pulled out, straightened out for us. Swap, swap. Go to the dealership, order some lines, some parts, get this thing running. Get this thing back on the streets, man. Back on the drag strip. This is definitely something that's going to probably take us to the drag strip right here. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. We finally got some of these parts ordered. We got the front end pretty much taken apart. The next step is going to be probably taking it to the frame machine and getting that frame pulled. We haven't got the quarter panel yet, but it is on order, so we'll be doing that a whole separate video because that's a lot of work. That quarter panel is going to be a tough one to tackle, but this is no match for the Goon Squad. So with that being said, be sure to stay tuned because the next video is going to be changing that frame rail, and you're not going to want to miss any of that. So if you haven't, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad to get the inside scoop there before YouTube. Also, guys, be sure to check out GoonSquad.com. Copy one of these limited time shirts, the Supreme Goon Squad shirt. Very comfortable, nice fit, super soft, guys. So be sure to get you one before they sell out. Also, guys, if you want to support us, the links are down below. All the help is much appreciated, and you guys are making this channel possible. So be sure to follow along this awesome rebuilding journey, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.